I'm building my own battery electric car. It's a 99 Jeep Wrangler just like the one from Gilmore Girls. What does it mean engine out, batteries, e-motor, inverter in? And all of that happens in my garage. My name is Veronica Wright, also known as Electrified Veronica. I'm a consultant in the e-mobility space, but I thought I want to get hands-on and do a project myself. So together with my husband, we decided to convert a 99 Jeep Wrangler into electric. So this is the introduction video where I want to give you a little bit of the overview why I'm picking this car, what are our project goals, what is the current situation, and what are the next steps. As you can see, we already have some batteries here disassembled and ready for testing. We do have a charger that we are installing in our garage and this is the transfer case that we actually got from the Jeep. A lot of you have asked why actually a 99 Jeep Wrangler and this might come as a surprise to you but this is my absolute dream car. I grew up in Austria and I always watched the TV show Gilmore Girls and in Gilmore Girls Lorelei would drive around with exactly this Jeep in the same color and same model. Since there is no all-electric Jeep available yet, we decided to make our own. And I can already tell you that this project is maybe a little bit overdoing it, but we want to really show you step by step what it means to convert a car to electric so you can learn and maybe some of you are curious enough to try it yourself. First, I want to talk a little bit about the overall project goals. The first goal is, of course, electrifying my dream car. That means we're getting rid of the engine, the transmission, the gas tank and everything related to the traditional parts of the car and make it fully electric. So putting in motor, inverter, batteries and all the fun electric stuff. The second goal is repurposing and reusing as much as we can. So obviously I am reusing a 23 year old car. Then also, you know, we want to reuse as many components of this car that we can, but also we're looking into, can we reuse batteries from salvaged or scrapped cars? The third goal is simulation and data. As some of you know, my background has always been simulation. In my PhD, I did quantum mechanical simulations on the atomic level and also my professional career is a lot about using simulation and data. So I want to hands-on understand how much simulation and data I can use for this project and we will share all of that with you. The fourth project goal is simply raising awareness. Awareness for electrification, electric vehicles, solar, renewable energy. You know, I want to kind of take away the fear and help you transition towards an electrified world. And I really want to thank Renew Wisconsin who is supporting this project by awarding us the EV for Goods grant. So get your dream car ready and follow our journey. We will be sharing lots of videos in the coming weeks and months. You can find all the information on my website. I share lots of things on Instagram, but also on LinkedIn. And if you'd really want to support the project, I have a Patreon account. We recently, by the way, together with my husband started a podcast. So there was lots of options for you to be updated. Almost a year ago, I had a very special moment in my life. Together with my husband, we were installing a trailer hitch on our car. And I was, for the first time in my life, laying underneath a car, removing bolts. And I thought that's really a lot of fun. And seriously, the same day I suggested, what if we electrify a car? And so this is how the idea was born. So since then, like the last year, we were actually looking for the right car. So I wanted to have the 99 Jeep Wrangler, just like the one in Gilmore Girls in the Sahara color. And as you can imagine, there are not too many out there, but we found a few. So in an ideal case, I wanted to find one with a blown engine. I wanted to find one that is not too rusty. And we wanted to find one that has a manual transmission. So we are very flexible with our electrification project. And I really want to thank 
Dan Prophet and Richard Souther for their great advice and help in finding the right car. We were lucky to find one that was just around the corner, 30 minutes drive from here, so we decided to go there and have a look. Unfortunately, this one had really too much rust. But then a few months later, we found one in Omaha, Nebraska. So we decided just based on the pictures and the phone call with the seller, we decided to fly there and drive the car back. Oh my gosh, that was just such a horrible drive. It was so long, the air conditioning didn't work. It was hot, it was super loud in the car but we finally made it. The next day in the morning, I was so excited to see my first own car again. And so the first thing that we did is bonding with the car. That's what you do, right? So you wash it, you clean it. And so we took the top off and even the doors off and we were driving around with this in the neighborhood and it was really a lot of fun. So once again, this is a 99 Jeep Wrangler made in Canada. It has only 100,000 miles, which is actually pretty good for it being a 23 years old car. It came with a six cylinder, four liter engine together with a five speed transmission. And I really enjoyed driving the stick shift again. Lots of people are asking us, how are you actually starting out with such a project? And so what we did is we talked to as many companies and people that already have experience doing conversions like that. So one very cool example is a conversion that happens in Austria. It's a startup, it's a family actually, that are converting a Pinskauer truck, that's a military truck, into electric. And they're even installing a solar roof, an extended solar roof to charge it from the sun. Another really great example is just around the corner here, a one hour drive where we met a guy that actually converted the DeLorean from Back to the Future into electric and also many other cars, but that was so great also. And you know, we're asking them questions and it's just so nice to have some people in the community that you can run by ideas. What we also did is we went to several conferences and events and we met companies that are actually offering conversion kits and components for electric conversions and we're also exchanging with them. There is four main categories that we clustered our project into and we will share all the details in the coming weeks and months. The first one is the electrified powertrain. So replacing the engine, the gas tank, the transmission and everything by e-motor, inverter and all the mechanical connections. The second part, my favorite one, is the battery. The battery, the cooling system, heating and the battery management system. The third one is what we call the user experience. So all the control systems and how the driver interacts with the car, like starting the car and things like this. And a fourth one is charging and safety. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, you will see how we pulled the engine and how we got the Jeep to a status that you can see here. Bye.